All right, we are going to put the glue, the mouse trap, to the chassis rails. And I'm making this updated video because there's a few tricks that we've learned along the way. All right, so first of all, you need to line up the mouse trap. There's two different ways to do this. First is you can take your ruler and you can measure from the center to the end of your lever arm. And then what you would do is from the rear, so we got an R marked here, from the rear of your uh, rear axle up to where you mark that center point. If I were to mark it, say for example here, then all I would need to do is take the mouse trap and line it up there, okay? So in our case, I think it's a little bit easier. Actually, if you have the two rails put together like this, you just place your mouse trap on here and you bring the lever back and then all you need to do is slide it and so you can see right here that it is lined up with the rear axle okay I'll straighten it out and then I just need to make my mark so I'll make my marks on both If you can get right in here you can see I'm making a mark here and a mark here what's very important is that you know your mouse trap the front goes this direction and if this is the front of your car make sure because one common mistake that people make is they glue the mouse trap on backwards and then it looks right until you have to pull it back like this and then it's not going to work okay so then what I do is we use a glue gun in here so I'm going to take the glue gun I'm going to put a little strip of glue right here okay and it dries quickly so I've got to work quick but all I need to do is line it up with the marks that I made and then I also want to make sure, and the glue's kind of hot, but I want to make sure that this is flush on the sides. Okay, and flush meaning that it's, it's straight right here and it's not crooked at all. So you can see that it's perpendicular to the mouse trap. Okay, and then I got to make the other one parallel. So another trick that we've learned is that if I take my straw, since I haven't cut it yet, and I pop it in here in one of the axles, axle holes, and then I put it in here in the other axle hole. Let's see if I can get that one in here. This hole's a little small, so here's another trick. If you need to make the hole bigger, you can take a pencil, just push it in there a little bit, and then this should slide right in. There we go. Okay, so now when I put the glue on, right now you can see that it's kind of crooked. But when I put the glue on, I can line it up so it's perpendicular and straight like this. Then I'll just move it out of the way. I'll put my glue on here like this. Okay. And then I line it up the best that I can. Make sure it's flush, but this is a little crooked, so I'm going to pull it back just a little bit. Now that's perpendicular. This is nice and flush on the side. I'll hold it down for a second. That glue sets nice and quickly, and if I look here, I can pull my lever arm back and you see it lines right up with that rear axle so when it pulls the string, it's going to be perfect.